Turning the page now with November fast approaching, midterm messaging is in the spotlight today. From House Republican leaders in Battleground, Pennsylvania, to President Biden's address at a Democratic National Committee event in Washington. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest from D.C. Fred, White House aides describing the president's remarks as a contrast speech with a sharper political focus, as both parties today are seeking to highlight what sets them apart. 46 days before the midterm elections, Republican and Democrat leaders out today hammering their party's very different messages. President Biden touting his administration's accomplishments while appealing to key Democrat issues like climate change and gun safety. We've had enough. It's time to pass the assault weapons ban. Also going on offense, casting the GOP as a threat to everything from voting rights to social security and abortion access. I don't believe the Niagara Republicans have a clue about the power of American women. Yeah. Let me tell you something. They're about to find out. He's labeled the most extreme in the party a threat to democracy itself. The president's speech to the Democratic National Committee comes after House Republicans laid out their policy goals as they seek to regain control of the House. We can secure our border. We could become energy independent where your price of gas is lower. We can build an education system that has a parent's bill of rights. Minority leader Kevin McCarthy, who hopes to become House Speaker, blaming Democrat policies for soaring inflation as fellow GOP leaders zeroed in on crime. How about a nation that's safe? And immigration. America knows it's a problem. The dividing lines are drawn. Most people are in the middle. And I think right now we're being pulled to one side or the other. As voters prepare to make their choice. A new Emerson College poll out today has President Biden's approval rating at 45 percent. It's the third poll this week showing his approval hitting its highest mark this year, driven largely by support from women. In Washington, Alice Barr, WCNC, Charlotte.